Hi everybody, welcome to my channel today. If you're new, hello and welcome. My name is Justine. I am in my mid to late 40s and I live on the west coast of Canada and I film videos a couple times a week on beauty, lifestyle, I do subscription boxes, um, a lot of beauty hauls, skincare, things like that. So if that's something that interests you, then please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you stay up to date with all my latest videos. So today I am super excited. Oh, I forgot to welcome my regular subscribers. Hello, <laughs> welcome back today. I guess because I'm just so excited. This is my most anticipated um, fall launch and that is the Char Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Top Collection. Now I already owned the lipstick and I did also own the lip liner, um, but I was so excited when she was bringing out this eyeshadow and blush. And when I saw the sneak peeks on Trend Mood a couple months ago, I was like, yes, I'm definitely getting that. And I did order it and unfortunately I think it's sold out already. Um, I ordered it on the pre-order but I'm sure she'll be bringing it back because it is such an iconic color and everybody's talking about it and raving about it so I'm sure it'll be coming back. So fingers crossed. I'm sorry guys that I'm posting this now but I only just got it last night and I ordered it from the pre-order so it sold out that fast. So let's quickly get started. So the first thing is the eyeshadow and it's a quad. Um, this is my second quad that I've bought from Charlotte Tilbury. When you're looking at it on camera, it's hard to tell the size, but they are kind of petite. Um, I'm gonna show you in comparison to my Tom Ford, which is sort of a petite palette. This is the Charlotte Tilbury next to it. So it kind of alarmed me the first time I got a Charlotte Tilbury palette, how tiny they are, but I mean, I've yet to go through a whole eyeshadow palette. I don't think I ever have, even since I was 13. <laughs> um, but anyway, that's the palette and the piece de resistance is the colors. So this is them here. So that is the, sorry, wrong way. Um, I think she calls this the Enhance. I'll put the exact names below. I can't remember how she describes it. And then uh, one of them's Enhance, one of them's all over. One of them, this is the pop color and this is the smoke color. So let's show you guys some swatches here. This is the all over color. And the second color. So one of them, this one I've just put on is a shimmer. Oh, that's a little too close to the other one, isn't it? That's the uh, next color. This is the smoke. And that's a matte. They're all kind of a rose gold brown kind of color. And this is the pop. If I'm wrong with the exact names, I'll put them down below. Is that catching? It's just a nice sparkle. Forgive me guys, this is a new camera I'm learning. <laughs> And the next thing is a blush. And she calls them swish and chic to chic swish and pop, I think she calls them. And this is the blush here. I've owned another color and they're really, really nice blushes. They last a long time. Um, they're two colors, you mix them together or you can use one as a blush, one as a highlight. I use mine as a mix. So the actual blush part here and the kind of highlighty part and then all mixed here we go gorgeous I also picked up at the same time one of her new um, concealers. It's called Magic Away Concealer. Magic Away Liquid Concealer. And uh, because she only, most of them were sold out, I waited until I saw some reviews on it because it's a little bit pricey. Um, so this is it here. And as you can see, I've only used it once and you can already see how much the product has moved because it's kind of a pen that winds up. So we'll see how long it lasts. And it also has that 
funny sponge tip applicator that everybody complains about because it's not the most hygienic thing. But anyway, um, that's how that works. And the color I got was medium number four. She was sold out of most of the colors, so I kind of had to take what was left. And I was kind of in a toss up. Do I get a color that would be brightening for under eyes or do I get it to conceal blemishes? So I kind of went the route of choosing a color more so to conceal blemishes, um, but today I used it as both. So it's not ideal for under eyes, um, but it worked okay. So that's the color there. And if you want to see them in action, I actually pulled out all my Charlotte Tilbury products that I own and I did this full face look today using my new um, products. So if you're interested, stay tuned. Okay, so here I am barefaced. Um, if you haven't seen um, one of my previous videos, I kind of, I'll link that below. It's called Hydrofacial in regards to these breakouts. This is actually um, a cyst that was injected twice to get rid of it. So this, it's healed, it's just kind of a red scar. And I had that cyst for six weeks and I had it injected, it cleared up after two days and then I got a cold sore. <laughs> just not gonna have nice skin, I'm just accepting it. So anyway, I thought I'd show you bare face because I also have um, pretty much everything of Charlotte Tilbury. There's a couple of things I don't have, but they did send me a sample of foundation. So I thought I would show you my bare skin so I can give you a bit of an update on my skin. And then also just try and use as many of her products as I can. So of course I have the Hollywood Flawless Filter and I use this as my primer. I don't traditionally use primers um, because I feel the more products I put on my face as I have aging skin, the worse it looks. It just shows texture and lines and I just look cakey. Um, but this is a whole different story. It just kind of gives my skin a nice little bit of glow. Um, I actually did a full review of it when I first got it and I was a little unsure. So I think at the end of the video, I still wasn't quite sure how I felt about it. Um, but that was, I think, in March and I've been using it every day since. So I think I like it. So there we go. Um, this product is supposed to be able to be used um, just on its own, but because I've got these breakouts, um, well, scars and cold sore, we're going to go in with full makeup today. So I'm going to use the Magic Foundation. I chose medium six. She has quite a few different mediums and I had no idea so I just chose this one. So let's wait and see what this looks like. And I'm going to use my favorite It Cosmetics um, Heavenly Luxe brush for foundation. I do like Beauty Blender too but I find that shears me out too much. So I'm just gonna buff this into the skin. I have used her foundation before, this Magic Foundation. It's okay, I probably would never buy it, um, but it's nice. And then we'll just buff this in. I'm going to the dentist after this, so I don't know why I'm taking so much trouble to do nice makeup when that's all I'm doing, but let's do it. So I'm curious to see how this concealer is going to work on covering up these scars and my new cold sore friend. I actually took Valtrex for it, so it's not as bad. There we go. I think you can add and add to this. It's definitely a buildable foundation. So I don't know if you guys can see, I have a new backdrop over the weekend. My husband and I changed up this room. So I, as, you mentioned, as I mentioned in one of my other videos, I just got a new camera. So I'm testing that out um, where I can zoom in a little bit better and hopefully um, zoom in on clear <laughs> product swatches for you guys. And we also bought this desk from Ikea and I've actually now moved all my makeup 
into this room. So this is gonna be my space from now on for getting ready in the morning. So we'll see how that goes. Um, I had all my stuff in the bathroom and my collection was getting bigger and bigger and I just didn't know what I had. So I'm actually having a lot of fun. I'm kind of shopping my stash now. So I'm gonna quickly put on a little bit of eyelid primer. Um, I know uh, Charlotte Tilbury products, I don't think she really requires a primer, but I have very oily eyelids. Um, I'm an oily skin person, including my eyelids, so I always use a little bit of primer in this Urban Decay one. It's just a sample, it's very nice. Um, I also have a Milani one that I like just as much, and it's a fraction of the cost. So there's that. Now we go in with the concealer. So again, this is the packaging and I got um, medium number four. Most of the colors were sold out. Um, I actually wanted a bit of a lighter color than this so that I could use it for under eyes. Um, you can see the product on that side. But it was sold out so I kind of got a color I think that would be better for camouflaging blemishes. So I think Ideally, you're supposed to get two of these, but they're pretty pricey. So I kind of went with what they had in stock and we'll try and make it work. So you click the product up. Um, I've never used it before, but I've watched a lot of videos. So you just click and click until product comes out. Let's see. Nope, not yet. So a lot of clicks. And I know a lot of people have complained that it's a sponge tip applicator, which isn't the most hygienic. Nope, oh, still no product. How many clicks has that been now? <laughs> I think the Touche Clot is like that as well. I had one of those and it took forever to get product out. So, as you can see, I'm already you can see where the product ends. <laughs> oh, I don't think there's a whole lot of product in here, but it has rave reviews. Ah, here we go. Finally getting a little bit out. And I'm just dabbing that in. I'm gonna do my under eyes first. I watched a tutorial yesterday from Wayne Goth. I don't know if any of you guys watch him. I'm using my little beauty blender. Um, oh, that's nice. And he showed this technique for the under eye triangle application, but I think I'm gonna try that one on my own and uh, test it out before I start showing it to you guys. But he just said it's a really nice way of concealing under eyes. I always struggle with this area because I've got fine lines. So there we go. It's not heavy and cakey. I'm just going to put a little bit more. I don't really suffer with huge dark circles. You know, I have the average amount. And now I'm going to use it on my scars. And I'm going to use a brush for that because I want a lot of coverage and the Beauty Blender I find shears it out. Not too bad! Another little scar here and another little scar. But as bad as my skin looks, this is actually scars. So I'm hoping with my new regime that the breakouts are a thing of the past. And of course a cold sore, I kind of get them at the change of season. So that was just a coincidence that I got it then and I'm hoping it'll be smooth sailing so not too bad might do a little bit more there we go and because this is a cold sore I'm going to use a separate concealer well, it's the same brush, but I'm not using it for anywhere else, and then I'll wash it. Magic! Wow, okay. 
very happy with that. I'm very happy with this concealer. You don't get a whole lot of product. The tip thing is a little bit not so good. Um, but I think it has nice coverage and I'm very happy with it. And of course, this gorgeous packaging. <laughs> so now I am just going to do a little bit of powder on those areas. And here's my little brush. This is my um, Full Face Charlotte Tilbury palette that I got um, from the Nordstrom Anniversary Sale. And I'm just gonna put a little under my eyes. I have a few eyelashes that fell. I'm not a huge fan of a lot of powder as well. Like I said, the more layers I put on, the worse I look. So the next thing I'm going to do, also from this um, Full Face Palette, is I'm going to take the um, contour, bronze, sorry, <laughs> bear with me, um, this bronze contour color, and that's what I'm gonna use as my bronzer today. So of all the fall and holiday launches that I've seen, this Pillow Talk collection is what I'm most excited about. There's a few things. There's a little bit of Marc Jacobs stuff that's coming out in gold packaging, but none of the products actually really wow me. So I don't know. We'll see. Um, the packaging looks nice. And I want the Gingerbread palette. I know that's crazy, and I said no more eyeshadow palettes. Sorry, I've got these eyelashes. So I'm super excited about that. But other than that, I haven't really seen too much that really piques my interest yet. I'm going to the um, Sephora holiday launch thing next sat this coming Saturday. And hopefully there'll be some things there that really excite me. So what should we do next? I think we should go in with the eyeshadow palette. So this is it here. And isn't that gorgeous? These colors really speak to me. So I'm going to do um, what Charlotte calls her, I think it's her signature kind of look and how she says to use her products. Of course you can use them any way you want, but this is, I'm just gonna follow her formula. Um, and so what she does is she takes this first color here she calls this the enhanced shade so I'm going to put that all over my lid I'm just going to do this one eye um, if you're new to my videos I'm blind in this eye it's not symmetrical it's small it's difficult and it's um, challenging to put makeup on for me so I'm just going to do this one eye on camera you'll thank me for it <laughs> So there we go, it's a very pretty pale pink champagne. I'm doing that all over the lid and a little bit in the corner. The next thing that she does, sorry, and that was my It Cosmetics um, Heavenly Brush. I love those um, brushes. And then I'm gonna use my Sigma, this is a blending brush, the E25. And I'm gonna go into the, what's her? Enhance shade. I think that's what it's called. I'll put the name down below. She has a name for each one of them. So that's the um, pink, pale pink kind of a matte. And I'm just going to do that in the crease. Oh my goodness, these shadows are nice. They blend so beautifully. They're not super, they're, they're pigmented, but they're not so pigmented that they're difficult for me to use. Um, I struggle with eyeshadow. I'm, I've been doing it for many years, but I still don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> um, so there we go. Oh, love these colors. So I'm just gonna take the um, color, that same color underneath. So she does like a cat eye. That's her signature look, a feline flick, I think was one of the things she calls it. Then I'm going to use that same brush again, and I'm going to go in the darkest shade, which she calls the smoke shade, and I'm just going to put a teeny bit on the outside V. There we go. 
thinking maybe doing my makeup in the monitor might be easiest. Please bear with me guys, like I said, this is a new camera so I'm just testing everything out so I hope you guys don't mind. So there we go. And then the last thing that she does is called the pop. So I'm just gonna put some of that on my fingers and then I'm just gonna pop that in the center. Wow, that's pretty. It's not too, too shimmery and glittery. Um, I have the Stila shadows, those liquid shadows, these guys, and I just find them a little bit too shimmery. Sorry, you guys catching that? It's just too shimmery for me. So there we go. And I have one of her eyeliners. This one is called Amber Moon. It's a brown. Um, I don't think she makes this color anymore, but I think it's very similar to her um, regular collection Barbarella Brown. So I'm just gonna do, let's see if I can do this. Her feline flick. And I'm also going to tight line a bit. I like that look. I like to have kind of a heavy upper eyelid and I don't like to do much on the bottom because I find it kind of drags me down. Okay, so I am going to do the other eye and my brows and mascara and then I'll come back and we'll do blush and highlight. Okay, I'm back. So I've done both of my eyes and brows and I don't own any of her um, brow products or her mascara. I did once have the legendary lashes and I know she's reformulated it, but no, <laughs> it was my eyes. I was just a raccoon. So I'm not even going to try the other one because her mascaras are pretty expensive and I'm not going to take a chance. So now I am going to do the blush. So here she is here. It's kind of a rosy nude on the outside in the middle is a really light kind of champagne -y color. So if you're not familiar with her blushes, she calls them swish and pop. Um, I'm going to use this nice um, Real Techniques brush and I'm going to swish and grab some from the center. And pop. Oh my gosh, that's nice. It's just got that nice iridescence to it. Charlotte really does a great job of making products for mature skin, that's for sure. I have to be very careful with highlights and all that for fine lines. I've got large pores, just a little bit more. Yeah, that's a beautiful color and it just complements the eyeshadow so nicely. I actually don't even think I really need highlight. Just that nice shimmer is enough for me today for the dentist office. <laughs> okay, and now lips. And as you can see, I, I purposely left them at their normal color. They're very pigmented and it drives me nuts because I like nude lips. So to put a nude lipstick on this, it just goes super dark. So what I do is either use a, um, like a lip erase, MAC makes a really nice lip erase, but of course it's discontinued. And then I bought a really nice one from Guerlain, but I was allergic to one of the ingredients. So for today, the leftover bit of foundation from my brush. <laughs> and I'm going to use the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk lipstick. Um, I did own the Pillow Talk lip liner and of course I was allergic. Uh, it has phenooxyethanol in it, which is one of the main things I'm allergic to. So I gave that to my mom. And just a side funny note, my mom is, she loves makeup, but she's a type of person that doesn't really buy it. She'll buy one lipstick and use it till the end. She'll buy one foundation, use it to the end. You kind of get my drift here. And she just relies on samples and she uses those gifts with purchases and things like that. Um, you know, like a normal person <laughs> who doesn't have a hundred lipsticks. Um, so anyway, I gave her the Pillow Talk um, lip liner and, you know, she likes makeup and she knows makeup, but she 
called me. She's like, oh my gosh, what is this lip line you gave me? It's just perfect. It's so gorgeous. So there's something to be said about that pillow top because everybody loves it, even people who aren't um, makeup junkies. So anyway, it's a very popular um, product. So this is the Pillow Talk lipstick, and I'll be honest, I don't wear it a lot. I find it um, too dark, <laughs> and it makes my complexion kind of gray. It makes my um, lips look thin. I don't know what it is, sorry guys. So what I do do, if I do use it, sorry, there we go. If I do wear it is Wayne Goss. Um, if you're not familiar with him, I'll link his channel below. He's a professional makeup artist. He um, showed the lipstick when he first got it and he said what he does is he ombres it out with this color called Valentine. So I ordered that as well. And I'm gonna put that in the middle and it just helps soften it a little and not make it so dark. <laughs> Someone like me that calls it dark, I know it's silly. And I'm not using a lip liner because I don't own it. And this is a matte color, I believe. So that is the complimentary lipstick that goes, when I say complimentary, I don't mean free. I mean, this is the Pillow Talk lipstick that's supposed to go with this entire look. So I'll just show you like that. And Justine style, we add the pink underneath on top. And that just softens it a little for me. And that's what I prefer. Okay, so let me tidy myself up. And if you want to stay tuned to the next part, I will give you my final thoughts on the collection. Okay, guys, so this is the final look. So I thought I'd give you my final impressions. Final impressions of first impressions. Um, so the concealer is very, very nice. Um, I think you're going to go through product pretty quick if uh, it's already moved like that after just one use but maybe I just had to wind it up a lot so anyway time will tell we'll see how long this lasts and of course um, like everybody has said this sponge tip applicator isn't the best um, especially if you're using it for breakouts um, because you don't want to well even just using it under your eyes you're, it's bacteria filled already um, but the concealer is quite nice um, I do notice a little bit of creasing um, already and you guys saw I did it with my beauty blender. I immediately powdered using her powder um, and I've already got a bit of creasing. Um, as far as the covering, I mean it covered up a cold sore and two um, breakout scars. It's not amazing, um, but very nice. Um, yeah, time will tell, but so far it's very nice. Is it worth the expensive um, price point? Mm, I don't know about that, but I'm gonna keep messing around with it and we'll see if it ends up in my favorites for the month. The next is the eyeshadow palette and it's magnificent. Um, the colors really speak to me. I love these soft um, nudes. That's totally my style. They're nicely pigmented, but not like paint. I find like Urban Decay, um, Pat McGrath, I find the colors are really difficult to work with because they go on so pigmented on first swipe. So for a novice um, makeup person like myself, I find them a little bit more difficult to work with. These are excellent for a beginner or somebody like me who's not an expert at makeup, but enjoys makeup. Um, very simple to use and straightforward and I can, I'm sure I can get a lot of looks with this. I could have toned it down a little um, by not putting that pop color on. The blush also is fa absolutely fantastic. Um, I'll have to see with the longevity but I love that flash of gold going through it. Even on my large pores and mature skin it's not over the top. I think it's a beautiful, beautiful color and I think you could wear this blush with a lot of eye looks. So I definitely will be getting a lot of use out of this. So this is definitely a winner. Um, 
I don't care even if it lasts an hour. I still love it. <laughs> so that kind of concludes my thoughts on the um, new items that I bought. Um, and Charlotte Tilbury is always a winner to me. I love um, the majority of her products. Only a few of them have been duds for me, but the majority I absolutely love. So if this was something that you're interested in, I hope and pray it comes back into stock so all of you guys can enjoy it too if it was something that you were interested in. And if you do see it come in stock, grab it right away. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you did, please click like. And if you'd like to see more of my videos, then please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Thank you all for joining me today and I hope to see you all again soon. Bye!